Every day by the night, see I'm 18, sipping lean, the pro methods ain't fiend. I'm candy green, looking clean when I floss on the scene. Dropping top and dropping screens in the whole world face. Cause Slim Thug gon' let the South know the north in the place. Drunk, open, bottle smoking, trying to read my neons. I got my mind on my funds. Taking peons from passing clothes to dancing hoes. It's all legit, cause I'm the prime time, nine, nine example of the shit. Y'all, the Slab OG's TV back at it again, another interview. Today, I got somebody up in here from the green team, you know what I'm saying? Uh, got this very unique car. Uh, he gonna kind of just break down, you know, where he come from, the experiences that he didn't had on the Slab, you know, building these cars, being a part of the green team, you know what I'm saying? It, will, you know, made him want to ride Slab. So without further ado, introduce yourself to the people. Yeah, man, I'm heavy, man, from Trinity Garden, you know, uh, First green uh, baby lack, you know. Okay, okay. What was it like coming up in Trinity Garden for the people, you know what I'm saying, that might not be from Houston or Texas at all? Man, Trinity Garden was a a, a a smooth, laid back, grindy type, you know, hood. You know, I'm from Curry Road, so, you know, we had all the area in, in, in the, on our side of Trinity Garden, you know, we fuck with Weaver Road, you know what I'm saying, people like that, Jensen Park. You know, it was always some getting money type mm -hmm. hood type shit. I know? be trying to ask people that's from Trinity Garden, wasn't it a line out there in Trinity Garden that Trinity Garden was known for? I don't really know. I know majority of, you know, Trinity Garden was red, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, I know growing up, when, I, when we really started looking at the slab shit, my I got an older brother that ran with said and Nick, you know what I'm saying? When they was black, you know, they got their first set of wheels. And then my brother, he had a red, I mean, he had a green 9-6 LeSabre, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, on his wheels. And said had the Taurus, Nick had the Regal. And then when they went red, shit, I just started seeing a whole lot of red right there, you know, Nick and Grandma High. So majority of I seen that was Trinity Garden, was red, was from Nick, Sid, D, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, and shit like that, so I used to see them lined up. You remember your first time seeing a slab? I'm going to tell you, okay, my uncle had a Delta, and he uh he had some threes, man, for the family, you and him and his wife came down, and uh, we heard him, but we didn't see him. Mm -hmm. So by the time he really pulled up, said, man, he, he was only on four. He wasn't even on five. He was on four. And he came to the family union, and I said, man, I got to get me a Delta. Fucked around, I ended up buying a Delta because of him. I ended up, I got an 85 Delta. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't put it together. I ended up buying an 84 Delta from Austin. Mm -hmm. He was 90 up. Started messing with it. I ended up selling it. But a complete slab? Was that uh that wagon that Derry got? Yeah. Man, we was coming down part. Jensen one day. Coming down Jensen before you get the tea well, it used to be a nail salon, something next to that jack in the box. Mm -hmm. Seen that boy bagged up, and he had to be sitting down, and the front was lifted up. I said, man, I gotta, I gotta come down on yeah. fire one day. Okay, okay. So like the like the, when you got introduced to the slab, like what kind of year was it? Uh, let me see. You know, just like seeing them. You know, seeing them. Shit. Just, I mean, my uncle had that car like in two thousand four. Okay. Yeah, cause he had a blazer first. It was Candy Ray. He had a blazer with a lot of music, and uh, he went and bought the Delta. I didn't even know the Delta was actually my cousin' car. Mm -hmm. He bought it from him cause he never drove it. And when I seen them pull out and came to the family union in their car, I was like, man, I got to put me something together. Uh, Why well, I asked that, you know what I'm saying? Because I, like I like the nostalgia, how it was kind of like them 90s, early 2000s, mid-2000s, kind of, you know what I'm saying? What was like the slab scene like maybe when you was like a teenager? Teenager? Because I know, you know, you say you from Trinidad Garden, so shit, back then, that whole Northeast side, that mid-2000s, 
You know what I'm saying? It was like, it seemed like back then, it was jumping over there when it came to the slab. Well, teenage years, we ended up moving to Fifth Ward. Mm -hmm. We stayed in Fifth Ward for like three years. So, us moving over to the Fifth Ward, I seen all the, uh, you know, I seen the green cars then. Yeah. The, uh, this one that was Lime, right? Nah, this was the, uh, gotta have the Delta, they gotta have yeah. the, the, uh, the Tudor Coupe, 90 yeah. up. Okay. The dude with the uh, I don't really know their names, but yeah. the dude with the uh, the Roadmaster okay. on the switches. Yeah. I remember seeing him coming down Crane and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And then I got introduced to Dante them a little later on, like 2009, is when I came across seeing Dante them when they went green. What they had at this time, Dante had a Buick, right? Dante had the part, yeah. Okay. Billy had the uh, Aurora. Blue, I think Blue had the Mercury at that time. But when they all, this, this, when they end up going green, it's when Steve had the, the Grand Prix. That's mm -hmm. my people. When yeah. Steve first got the Grand Prix, because Steve really introduced me to them. Yeah, because he was Trinidad Garden. He too. from Trinidad Garden. Okay. So when Steve introduced me to them, see, that's when I started getting the game from them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. So this is the first complete car you, you put together? Yeah, it's the first one. And what is it? This is a 1986 Cadillac DeVille Baywood. Where did you find it from? Well, this, this is like a unique car. I ain't never seen. I ain't never seen one in Houston like this. So, man, so how it originally started was I had the Delta, and I had bought me an L dog. I wanted to take the 90 off of the Delta and put it on the L dog. 90 off the Delta, put it on the. And L put it on the L dog, yeah, because I had a 90 Delta first. Okay. So Marcus called me. He had the lacrosse at the time, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Hey man, let me go and get the let me go and buy the L dog from you." So at this time, I'm thinking like, the the car ain't all the way there. Yeah. So the car with the car not all the way being there, I didn't want to sell him no BS. Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Man, let me sit on it for a little bit." He ended up buying a, a, the L dog and he went straight to work with it. So I'm like, fuck it. So the L dog he got, they came from you? Nah, he ended up buying his own. Oh, okay. And I still had mine. Yeah. So when he started 90, I was like, nah, I don't want to come out just like him. Yeah. I want to do my own spin to it. So, man, I'm sitting at the house. I'm on Craigslist. I looked up convertible Cadillacs and I'm going city to city. I'm just looking city to city. The original car I really wanted was the 89 DeVille. So I seen one, it was like close to New York. I was gonna go get it. Mm -hmm. So I um, I scrolled through and scrolled through and I seen this one in San Diego. So when I looked in San Diego, I look at the car and I started looking up like the, the history on it. They only made like a small number of these because this one came with a fifth. So I called the dude, he like, man, somebody uh, sent me some money already from Houston. I was like, I didn't. I'll just wait on him. You know who it was? Nah. I don't know who the dude was. And uh, the guy was like, look, if he don't come through in like two weeks, I'll call you. I said, all right, bitch. So I'll wait on him. That two weeks came. He said, man, he ain't come through. I sent him the money back. So, you know, send me a, a, a money order, and then you can come out here. I did that, man. That Friday, I jumped on the plane and went out there. I got out there too late. They ended up closing. They was out. They was closed for the weekend. I see the car sitting way in the back, man. Just seen the front end of it, and the rails, the, the top was up. So I'm like, man, I'm just gonna get it. Mm -hmm. So at that time, he um, he called me Sunday. I went to go look at it, and then he was like, um, "What's up with it?" <laughs> then he was like. Um, ship it out that's when they had that fire so i had the car was sitting for like two weeks mm -hmm. before i even got it so when i finally got it down here i was like i gotta get in and get this mud in motion and get it going yeah yeah so is this the first shorty baby lad convertible in houston yeah slab dot yeah straight 90. okay it was a real one that i seen they just had the side pieces on there mm -hmm. first time I think it was a hard top, uh, uh, four door, uh -huh. on four two door. I seen it. Okay, okay. Yeah. What made you put a ninety on? 
Man, honestly, look, I'ma tell you. When I first got it, Dante, I called Dante and said, man, I got the car, man. Wayne them had the red one. Uh, so I was like, man, we just gonna paint it, just leave it, just just go get on Wayne and fuck it. Mm-hmm. But when I got home, I said, man, that damn man, the kid just sitting there. So I called Dante, I said, hey, man, look, how about we just 90? He said, I never seen it done before. Mm-hmm. So Dante was like, okay, here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at that motherfucker, see how it goes, see how everything go. We walked around the car, and uh, he was like, just put the side pieces on the first. So we wanted to put the side pieces on. We didn't have them glued on or nothing like this. So I was like, all right, bet. So the original car, I already had, you know, like something like this already on the, mm-hmm. on the lights or whatever. So Dante was like, well, hey, shit, heaven. Put, because all this looked like it was too big for the car. Yeah. So Dante was like. You saying like the grill. Huh? You saying like the grill looked too big for the car? No, 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 no. Like the whole uh, 90 front end. Yeah. Because it was, it, when we put it next to the car, it was sitting tall. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, well, just, okay. Even the original lights look like the side, the, the signal lights. Mm-hmm. So we, we talked about it. We took the, the lights off. And then we put the bump on there. I was like, don't tell you. I said, man, look, if we do it, we ain't going to be a complete 90. Because mm-hmm. they're going to say, you got the side pieces, you got the bumper, but you ain't got the you ain't got the 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 LPC, you ain't got the signal light, you ain't got yeah. none of that. I said, fuck it, Dante, man. If they say something, fuck it. I'll be the first one to do it, so let's just do it. So we end up going up to Zephyr. Zephyr, like, a baby lad. Yeah. Like that, like, what you mean, a baby lad? So we end up bringing a car to him. He said, man, I ain't never done one of those before. Yeah. He ain't never knighted it before. So I was like, well, just do the front bumper then. Let's see how they go. He put the, I had to buy the header panel from him. Mm. When he put the header panel on there, he sent me a picture with the bumper. But the car was kind of jacked up. So everything Zephyr was sending me, I was sending it to Dante. Yeah. Say, hey man, what you think, man? So he didn't know that it was jacked up. He said, damn, here, that bitch kind of close to the ground. Yeah. We shoot straight over there. The car sit now, le- level. Dante said, that's, that's the one right there. That's the one. So we put the front bump on there. I go to this house. We put the side pieces on there. So we put the side pieces on there. I go back to Zephyr so he can wrap the back. And I was like, well, what about that bottom piece right there? Zephyr is like, man, you're going to have to get it painted. I'm like, get it painted? I said, all right, Zephyr, look, this is what we're going to do, man. Put the 90 on there, how you how you gonna do it? But I want you to do the bottom like an L dog. Cause I want it to look like an L dog cause it got the chrome on the side of the car. Yeah. So I want it to look like an L dog and uh and see how it go. He like, all right, bitch. So I ordered a L dog chrome kit. The whole chrome kit on the side of the all the way to the back. Mm-hmm. Took it over there to Zephyr. Zephyr go to put it on, it was too short. Cause it's the original car, if it, if it's if it's on the side, it have a chrome piece on the door and it got two little small chrome pieces on the back. But the bottom, it got you can see the middle. So I was like, nah, man, I gotta cover that up. So Zephyr is like, that's too small. So I was like, well, whatever you need to do, let me know. And we can go from there. He said, all right, look, or I want you to order this. Go pick this type of metal up, and I'm going to make it. I'm like, you're going to make that. So I left the chrome kit right there with Zephyr. I left it there. I said, man, is it going to look exactly like that? He said, exactly like that. So he went, took a picture of the back, the back bumper, the first chrome piece. He sent it to me, sent it to Dante. I'm like, hey, man, I think he got something going. He was like, yeah, but just let him finish the door. So when he put it all that shit together, 
And then I had to go get it painted. Mm -hmm. So that kind of put it to where everybody thought it was an L dog because I got everything underneath that door, all that customized. Yeah. What, what was the street saying when you pulled it out? Oh, man. It was one individual. <laughs> I call him Chibana Motors. He buy, sell, trade more cars than Shabana Motors. That nigga Chris, he went and bought a baby lat. He was calling himself the baby lat king. You know what I'm saying? And nigga was saying, like, I took it personal because he was shooting jabs. And what he said was, the one thing he said, yo, man, he, he making posts. Yo, man, I woke up, man, I had a dream that my 90s was just like heavies. And I was like, I'm looking at a nigga car, and I'm looking at mine. I'm looking at it again. And, you know, everybody, they was showing me love. Like, man, that whole clean, man. You the first nigga that came out to do it. So when he did it, and he was talking, I was like, nigga, you should thank me. I'm the first one to do it. You should yeah. thank me because whatever that you feel that I did wrong, you feel like you did correct. So I'm looking. I said, nigga, your name is just like mine. He took it to the same person? He went to Zephyr. Yeah. My girl's just like, ain't nothing different. So, you know, uh, he was calling this whole scoop, the, the hood and all this shit, saying I put another hood on there. And uh, he ended up selling it. Yeah. So, you know, you can't call yourself no baby like king if you sold it. So, uh, another dude got his red now. Yeah. He sent me a picture, man, boy, killing you. I'm killing you. Uh -huh. Nigga, you ain't even finished the car, so all the credits go to him. It don't go to you. So, you know, me and him, we was like going, it, it was slap talk. You know what I'm saying? You you saying, you know, you should have did it right the first time, and this isn't that, and you end up selling the car. So, shit, I, I went all the way through with mine, and he didn't. So, you feel like you need slap talk in this game? Yeah, yeah. Because it, it makes the game better because when you got a person like, like him, man, he was amping me up. Mm -hmm. Man, I went and put a goddamn, uh, in my truck, I put, if you ain't first, you last. And I put, if you ain't first, was green. I, I didn't even do it because he ended up selling the car. The U was teal, and that was directed to him. And all the rest of the letters was, you know, different colors and shit like that. But that really had me amped up to where I'm like, okay, I'm finna shut this nigga up. Yeah. I'm finna shut him up. You know, only difference is I didn't go longer is because I can only go as far as whatever my garage gives me. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I ain't want to get no damn storage unit. I'm good with the G15s on here. So, uh, he, uh, that slab shit make a nigga really go out there and, and go grind and do some old shit to, uh, you can't say too much about my car because once you said it and you didn't kill me, I'm still the top dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I love that shit. Man, what, what, why is the green team just seem like ever since green team came out, it's just always been top dog in the slab game? It's I always, a, like, to ask, I always a, like to ask people from green team that. It's a unique color, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, the city, I'll put it to you like this. The city only know, you know what I'm saying, every car is, is going to start off red. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you put that same car green? I don't different. even feel like, really, it's the color. It's like every car that y'all didn't put together, everybody in the green team, it was like immaculate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, Shit, for some reason it just seemed like green team, they long y'all longevity, you know what I'm saying, putting the car together, it's always top echelon, you know what I'm saying? I can't really tell you a car that just came out from green team that was just like, ah, it was all right. Man, when you got when you got a Marcus, yeah. when you got a Farrow, when you got a Steve, when you got a Dante, when you got a Blue, when you got a Billy, you know what I'm saying, when you got those people, Showing you the way and say, hey, man, that nah, that shit, that tacky, man, redo that. Yeah. You know, people still ain't even seen my interior yet. Yeah. But when you got those people saying, nah, here, that shit trash. Nah, redo that. That's cool, but redo that. You know what I'm saying? Um, everything come back yeah. the way it's supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even if we got to redo it, you still got 
everybody in our team eyes on your car before you really hit the streets. It just take a look, you know, another nigga to look at it and be like, oh man, this ain't it. This ain't it, you know, just the small shit, but compared to us actually like coming together and saying, cause we all used to pull up at Dante house. Yeah. Wherever Dante stayed at. And nah, yeah. that ain't it. That ain't it right there, man. Fix that. Then come back. Yeah. Shit like that, so. Okay, okay. Is, what line could compete with the green team when it come to, you know, complete cars? Shit. Hold on, let me see. Now, I'm still kind of new in the game, but I can say this. Like, instead of, like, saying complete in the night, I can say competition-wise, when it came to, like, putting them together, gold. Gold. I remember, man, them gold boys, like, back in the gap, how they used to, here they come, here they come six deep, and we all chilling. You know, I had a LeSabre back then that's on some supers. But seeing Dante and them, here they come. Then they all jump in the car, and we we out, we out to go get them. Yeah. They, but then again, that Red, too. Red, too, when uh, Fish and them used to come out and uh, – Hit that homestead and stuff, and then they used to go get them. So yep. that competition was nice, boy, back in the day. Did you do you play in your car? I did one time, man. I did one time. Me, it was me, Dante, and Charles Jr. We went to Carol's one day, and uh, I wasn't planning on doing it. You know what I'm saying? It was a dude. He had a, a MKZ, a MKZ, and another dude had a. a A caprice, mm -hmm. but we was leaving, so we were leaving about to get on ten. Uh, they came and cut Dante off, but it was like a you can't fuck with Dante when he behind the wheel. Yeah, he didn't. It was a blind side moment, you know. He just cut him off, and Dante went around, and then it come to MKZ, and at that at that time, me and Charles Jr. went around. And me and Charles Jr., that's when Dante had the Delta. So we all old school. Dante, Charles Jr. with the Tudo Delta, and me. Man, we went up, we was on them niggas' ass all the way till we we went to uh, Address. Mm -hmm. I was tearing their ass up all the way down the freeway. I had the top down, rolling like a motherfucker. I told my cousin, caught that motherfucker. Man, we shot all the way down Address, tearing them niggas' ass up. Yeah. That was the only time. Yeah. Okay, okay. Why you don't drive your car that much no more? Man. For one, I saved it for my son. You know what I'm saying? And two, that team coming back, man. That green team coming back, man. Uh, I think it's better when all your partners is lined up, man. Yeah. You see 10, 12, 15 green cars lined up, and uh, you pull that motherfucker guy. and we all riding. Because now, you know, you got all these new – New generation, like they come and you know doing donuts and all that, man. This you ain't this, trying to get in the mix of that. This nine to five, you know what I'm saying? This is hard work type shit that keep uh keep me going. And then somebody come tear this mud up, man. And they ain't got insurance. That's yeah. You know what I'm saying? Start scratch, pretty much. Yeah. When you say green team coming back, who all finna pull back out? Everybody. Yeah. Everybody, man. We can, all can you give back, a sneak man. peek of what everybody got? Nah, cause they gonna text me when they see this and they gonna be mad. <laughs> Only thing I can say is, if I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you one person that I'm kind of waiting on to hit the streets, man. OG book. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm waiting on that man, man, to see that boy. Once he hit the streets, man. What he got a Delta? I think I got a Delta. Okay, okay. Yeah, he got a Delta. Cause Charles Jr. is people. The yeah. Charles telling me and shit like that, so yeah. uh, see that boy coming down, man. Cause we got some nineties. Mm -hmm. We we actually got a lot of ninety cars put together mm -hmm. compared to any other line. If you really think about it, why everybody? Well, I know why, but you know, for everybody else watching, why is like the ninety like what you want to put on your car? That's like you buying a. A base model car. Mm -hmm. 
that 90 is like a, it puts you in a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Because if you really just try to compare the two, if you put a, a, a 90 rhythm and a regular rhythm on the side of each other, it's just something about that front end that kind of mm. um, give it a different look. Yeah. Because everybody was telling me, you don't got a 90 that car, man. This is just, it's already a unique car. You ain't got a 90. I'm like, nah. When Pharaoh hit the corner one day, man, damn. Matter of fact, me, Pharaoh, Marcus, Ken, and Pop, we just drove one day and mm -hmm. we was on homestead. And them balls was parked right, right on the side of each other. It's like that 90 look, it makes a big difference. It seemed like uh, when you put an old school together, no matter how much money, you put $100,000 into the car, it's always going to be something wrong with it. What's the difference of, you know, putting the old school together, putting a new school together? Like, what's the problems that come with old schools? Man, I'm going to tell you, you know, I've been having this car since 2017. Man, I drove this car uh, last month. Mm -hmm. Man, the brake system, everything just locked up. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just sitting there. So it's like little small tedious shit. So I had to replace all it. Mm -hmm. And uh, just sitting up, it, it 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 takes. I don't know, man. It takes a lot from from the car and it, and, and it get your headache. So like when, you build, when you build an old school, you damn near got to redo everything on there. At least twice. At least twice. Mm. At least, man, new fans and, you know, new uh, water pumps here and there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's radiator. It's just, it, you, you replace it, but it's still... Sitting up for so long, man, it should still go out in, in, in no time. Yeah. Compared to a new car, new amount of car, that car can sit for two, three years. If somebody brought you a bag, would you sell it? Nah. 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 I, I could imagine it. Shit, you driving it, the last time you drove it, it just was out like that. I bet people was coming up to you like, man, let me buy that, let me buy that. I had got a couple offers, man, but it was more of my son loved a car. You know what I'm saying? With with him loving the car, at first I didn't believe him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I had got a I had got an opinion. I said, "Hey man, dude, want to buy the car?" He's like, "Man, Dad, I want it." Mm. You know what I'm saying? So having that in mind, I, I I'll I'll forever keep it. If he sell it, then that's different. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because I look at like. You know the core blunts, mm -hmm. stories. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who knows his story on how he got his car? You know what I'm saying? The, the young dudes with the cars and you know shit like that. And then I look at the little Clydes coming down with his daddy. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm a, I'm gonna end up doing another car. Yeah. But you got the little Clyde coming down with his daddy. You know, Buck and his son coming down. I'm looking at them with their motivation. Like, man, I can't wait to see my little man. Pull on the side of me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just having that mind that he want to come down like his old man. Uh, it, it's a, it's a big it's a big moment for me. What other car would you do? Cause I'm just thinking about everybody that got a green car. It's like every divi it's like every division already in the green team. Every car. I do a new car. Okay, new car. I do a new car. What what kind of car? I do a uh, ATS coupe. Mm. Ain't never been one. It wasn't. A, I thought it was a coupe, a green coupe, right? CTS. CTS. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I do ATS coupe. I do a. I do a photo CTS too. Yeah. You know if, but right now what I'm on right now the bike. Mm. I'm, I want to do a bike. You know what I'm saying next year. Green. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What you feel like the slab guy ain't missing? What they missing? What the slab guy ain't missing right now? I, me personally. OG stepping up and say, "Hey man, y'all take that crazy driving over there." 
I mean, I feel like the reason it's like that because it kind of got saturated with, like you say, like early 2000s, you know, mid 2000s, everybody that was like out on the slab scene or just would come to, you know, an event or a block party or something, it was like, oh, that's my partner car. Or, oh, there's like, I know these people. I grew up over here. Yeah. It's really not like that no more because it's, you know, we got social media. So you got people that just don't know nothing about the life, but they'll come, you know, and mess it up and all that. Bro, you remember back in the day, like, okay, when you look at the Bulldog TV videos, what's the other guy, Chingo, Chango, Chango, see good, see good, man. When you look back and see how the motherfucking cars was lined up, you got a dude that got a complete car and another dude complete car playing. Mm -hmm. That's different from a nigga just got a regular car come pull up on you and you yeah. complete and he trying to swing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you got when you got the fish and when you got the the Tony P's and you got the uh um Street Killer, Ray Ray, mm -hmm. when you got them coming down, and then you got Dante, you got Billy, you got Blue, then on the goal you got Jermaine, you know what I'm saying? You got all when you see those group of people lined up, what you fucking it up for in a regular lacrosse or a regular LaSaver, like yeah. these people like you know what I'm saying we putting money into these and it just take one little person to come down and they lined up one little gold car one red car one green car come and then you got to call speed and come tell your car mm -hmm. like that's messing the game up yeah you know what I'm saying and when you go back to those videos and you see them Putting they cars together and they going at it, it's it's a different type of feel. On them videos, it was like when they recording and they recording the street, it was nothing but slabs on the street. It wasn't everybody else who didn't have a car, they was on the side just side. chilling. You'll watching see a, the cars. You'll see a, a LeSabre on some let's say right now, you'll see a LeSabre that's red on the boulevard. You might see a black Park Avenue on some wheels sitting to the side. Mm -hmm. Cause they they waiting their turn to come out. They not finna jump out there. You know, you see two, a red and a green car going at it. He ain't finna jump out there and shoot down the street and go, you know, tag along because his partner is probably the red car. His partner is the green car. He gonna sit back and be like, I'm gonna wait. You know what I'm saying? Compared to they going down there and not knowing which way a car going and they tearing your shit up. Mm -hmm. Now you back to fucking square one. So a person like you who put all this money into this car, you got a, a real car, you know what I'm saying? It's clean. Do that make you even not a not really want to even put like and go to them events? Nah. My partners. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me about three or four green cars, I'll go. Yeah. But like on some solo shit, I don't know. I I'd rather be in a Lolo car, you know what I'm saying, just to go because when you say in a slab event, you you speaking slab, you you speaking at least three or four cars, head that way in the same color. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I wouldn't go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But me and Marcus, we've been talking. You know what I'm saying? He he coming that trap. You know what I'm saying? We going That's a bad little combination right there. Just us three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We gonna come out and do some shit and start putting some miles on these damn cars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Man, what what you feel like is the cleanest car in the green team? Gee, that's tough between Trap and between Trap and Marcus. I haven't seen Buck, but you know the man gonna come with something. Man. Yeah. You know, it ain't gonna be a goddamn a wire look, you know, seen on that car. Mm. So right now, to me, Trap, uh, Trap and Marcus. They like tied for number one. I like to, I like to ask y'all about uh, I think I asked about it when when y'all all did the interview uh, Ferro Rivy or Marcus L. Dog. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm put it to you like this: Ferro Trump, Marcus Insides. Yeah. What he had? What he had in the trunk? I don't know. That I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. I wish you never sold it. The motherfucker's still clean to this day. 
The yeah. car's still clean. You know what I'm saying? I say it's getting passed around like a like a prostitute. I, I don't think old boy selling that hoe now. Yeah, they got it now. Yeah, man. Yeah, Marcus inside. Farrell music. Okay. They still be debating about this. Shit. Yeah. You know I don't know. I guess maybe just because I went somewhere one time and I heard Pharaoh car and I was like, damn, I ain't never heard no car like that before. So I don't know. Maybe that's just my. And they look. come down with different type of music too. Like, you know, you expect everybody to come down in the Slap Holiday yeah. fucking album. That nigga Pharaoh come down in that motherfucker any type of song. As long as that bitch got some quirk in the back, man, they're gonna, they gonna play that bitch. Yo. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna just do a little little slab trivia with you real quick. Best, what's the best system to put in your trunk? I got CVXs. CVXs? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know nothing too much about music, but yeah, I got I got CVXs in my shit. Cadillac wise, drop a hard top. Gotta go drop. Drop. Okay, okay. Cadillac or Buick? Cadillac. Long wheels or, you know, 15, 12? Man, I'm going to tell you, to me, my honest opinion, if you G15s and up, you you move them. You but what, what if somebody, saying? shit, they got a clean car, but they just like, like you say, shit, my garage, I don't a lot that. That's all I can get. Yeah. Now, if I had a longer garage, I would have went a little longer. But I think the furthest I would have went is probably G20s. Now the like the twenty fours and I'm hearing about the twenty sixes. Yeah. I can't even do that. What's the what's the best size? I always fifteens. Fifteens. I just feel like if you put fifteens on the car, it's gonna already get lowered to the ground already. Yeah. Now don't get me wrong, it's a couple cars that look good on seventeens, but it's just some about fifteens the way they look on the car, it uh it make the motherfucking mean. Uh, 15 inch or 17 inch? As far as size? Yeah. Everything 15. 15. Why, be, why some people don't like uh 17s on the old school? Because I done seen some cars where the car was clean, but I messed it up when they put 17s on there. Let me ask you this. Yeah. What old school clean on 17s? Uh, that's out right now? Yeah. I can't even think of one. They all 15s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They all, it's just, the way they sit, it just sit perfect. Man. Like it's a car supposed to sit low. Supposed to, yeah. Okay, okay. They gonna laugh at you, pussy. Well, I heard Buck post come out 17, but that man, like, like when Like Buck, no, Buck always ride 17. Always ride 17. Yeah. That man got a, an eye for the game, man. Yeah. I got an eye for the game. I got to give it to him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's your top five greatest slabs of all time? Top five greatest yeah. slabs of all time that I've seen. The wagon is mm -hmm. like the top one to me. Uh, I like Buck first. I like Buck. See the Delta that he had. Mm -hmm. Was that a Lesabre? Thought it was like a Granville or something. Some I, I like the cutlass he had. Yeah. The cutlass he had was clean. Uh I like a couple Ray Ray cars. Yeah. Ray Ray had some shit. I like little Clyde car. Yeah. The new one he did. Yeah. I like that. I'm past five. Nah, that's four. One that's more. four. Uh I ain't gonna lie, man. It's a tie of these two cars that I like right now. That's the uh, Lionel Ray, Riven, mm -hmm. and Tony Snow. Well, I think in Dallas, the blue one. Yeah. Man, that motherfucker, that clean. Yeah. I like them. Them too. They, they, they like neck and neck to me. Yeah. Okay. But okay. When he put them bags on there, it kind of set them a little on the. Oh, I like old boy Coop from Austin, the purple one. The uh, hard top. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga clean. I like that nigga car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I gotta get it. I gotta get it to them. Them awesome boys got some nice cars too. Though. Yeah. Hey, I, I want to ask this question. I don't want to start no controversy or nothing, but who you feel got more cleaner cars, the North or the South? 
Well, you know, the South is just red. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? it seemed like, I don't know, it just seemed like some of the cleanest cars. I'll put it to you like this. Fleet wise, yeah. there's only three really colors red, yeah. gold, or green. Yeah. Who's going to take the cake? Yeah. It's going to be the North. It's going to be Jermaine and goddamn Trap. When it come to, when it come to rivets, you still gotta put Pharaoh's name in there. Mm -hmm. When it come to rivets, you know what I'm saying. Um, I like Clyde Black, but that green one hard too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. So it's like the comparison is really north side. Yeah. Because it's my, you know what I'm saying? We really have different type of, it's more colors over here, yeah. but then again, it's still more competition on your same side of the city because yeah. you still got red, you know, I mean, you still got red too. Mm -hmm. Red, gold, green, all of them is over here. The, the orange line, you know, just develop on, on the south. So, you know, they only have their own two colors to yeah. me. So... I'm still a new head in the game, but of course I'm, I'm gonna give it to the North. Yeah. Okay, okay. But I mean, they have a lot of old school guys that's that's been in the game on the South. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That kind of spikes the game up because yeah. when you got fish and and, and fucking uh, pop going at it, pop gonna bring 10, 15 cars to the South. Mm -hmm. Vice versa, fish gonna bring the same thing. So it was like, um, I gotta still give it to my to the north side. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And you're not saying it on no bias stuff. It's just it's almost like facts. Yeah. 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 <coughs> the game been good, man. I gotta give it to him, man. I, I I gotta say this. I gotta respect all the OGs that 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 you know put this this whole Houston lifestyle together, man, mm -hmm. because seeing a slab, like a complete slab coming down, you know, is a, man, it's a wonderful feeling. Man, you can have a hard day, bro. And you just jump in that car, man, you get the rolling, you know, chunking the deuce to any fucking body, picking the kids up from the school highs, man, it's, 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 it's Houston, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I, I tip my head out to all the emojis that, that, that gave the game to everybody and passed along and this generation is going to continue on because now I can pass my game to my son that I learned from my team. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. I really, I really, man. Man, you got any shout outs to get up out of here? The whole city, man. The yeah. whole city. You know, I got to say this too. That, uh, how the city came together for that, uh, Austin shit. Mm -hmm. You see, you know, the whole north side was together. It was, I seen a couple of the videos. I was some little heated mm -hmm. moments, but to have everybody pull together for they city, man, that shit love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. I read it, man. Slab OG's TV. Knocked out another interview. We out.